Well, Steve Ishmael coming off the best game of his season and coming out of this bye week here. And uh, Steve, let's start on the bye here. Did it come at the right time? Did you guys get the rest and uh, learn everything up here in this week you needed to at this point? I felt like it was perfect timing with the bye. You know, um, we got a chance to rest our legs, everything. It was it was really huge, and I just felt like we came out here today. We had a blast at practice, so I feel like everything's just going to continue um, progressing during the weekend. We're going to be ready for the game. When you combine that now with a 4-4 four and four record, four games to go, does it feel like, okay, you've had the break and it really sets you up for a strong final push? Most definitely, you know, I feel like um, the break really helped a lot. I'm um, just getting our mind right, you know, just getting that break off football, especially going eight weeks straight was most definitely key, especially going into this big game with Clemson. So I feel like it was really huge, and I feel like everybody got their mind in the right place, especially at the practice today. Just seeing how we had the energy, it was fun. So, you know, I feel like that's most definitely going to carry into the game. We've seen on offense this year, everyone's kind of gotten their turn at some point. Yours finally came uh, uh, the last game against Boston College. What was it like for you to finally break out with your biggest game of the year? It was exciting, man. You know, um, God's timing is perfect. You know, I feel like um, it was a big game, big situation. You know, got a chance to experience the touchdown. I ain't experienced in a long time, but it was most definitely a blessing. I just had a blast being out there, um, getting a win. You know, the rain, the rain conditions and all that played a huge role just in us coming more together as a team. And I feel like, you know, we performed and we got the win. It's so great to be a 4 4 right now. Yeah, acrobatic touchdown. You got that one foot down. How'd you pull off that catch? Uh, honestly, you know, I, Coach always preached, save two yards from the sideline. As the ball was coming, I just timed it up perfect. And when I was falling down, I looked at my feet and then I tried to turn at the last second. I actually got it in. So it was amazing just to get, just to feel that feeling of being back in the end zone, especially not, not being there this whole entire season. It was great, man. And, you know, I'm just blessed just to be playing this game right now. We're seeing such great balance here in the last two games amongst the wide receivers as all four of you guys are getting chances. So early on this year, Amba really went crazy. How do you how do you see defense react to that first and now it, it's kind of balanced out here in the last couple of weeks? I feel like Amba came in, it was it was surprising, you know, but he, he's had a blast of a season and the defenses have tremendous respect for him now. And I feel like he opened up everything for everybody. You know, as you said, everybody's getting their turn, the ball is spread around perfectly. So I feel like everybody's grateful with the share that they're getting. And, you know, we, we, we just love to see wins. And, you know, I feel like that's what we're doing, where everybody getting the ball is just opening up more doors to victory. Was it interesting early for you in the season? Because I think we all watched what you did the first two years and said, well, of course, Steve's going to be the leading receiver on this team coming in. Then Amba blows it up. Was it tough for you early in the season knowing he was the lead guy to start? Or, or how did you balance that celebrating your teammate but at the same time wanting your own personal success? Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't really battling. You know, I was so happy for him, man, because he came in here Worked hard, humble guy. You know, I'm just happy for him. I mean, I would love to get yards and stuff like that, but just seeing his success has most definitely opened up everything for everybody else. So, you know, I feel like as long as he opening up the door for everybody else and it's working out for everybody, I'm completely fine with that. And I just know that everything's going to continue progressing and eventually, you know, things are going to just be the best that it ever was. And that and that's the point that I really want to get to with this team. And I feel like we're, we're, we're coming together and we're working towards that. Uh, against BC, the door was wide open for all four of you. <laughs> you guys all had big games. And that happens because Eric Dungy is playing well right now. What's the step he's made here in the last couple of games? Because it seems like he's doing everything for this offense right now. Uh, he's been doing great. dungy has been doing tremendous. I mean, making the right reads, making the right decisions and everything like that. So I feel like with him being our leader, the quarterback, and him performing at the high level that he is, is it's a blessing to the team. And I feel like it's rubbing off on everybody on the team. And we're coming together. And with him being more of the leader that he is, it's most definitely been impacting to us in a positive way. And I feel like we're, we're really reacting good to that. And we're just continuing progressing. And we, we believe in, man. That's one thing that I say with this team. We're believing that we could pull off wins and as long as we got that confidence and that belief everything is possible takes big belief this week we know that you're playing number three on the road Clemson and Death Valley you've played there before you've played at Florida State you've played these big teams in big places what are these games like to be a part of uh, it's so tremendous man as as you said Clemson is ranked number three right now man they are they are really a great team you know so much respect for them I know that they're um they're they're great people off the field as well you know um the, the history with Clemson is great. Just going out there and being on the field is going to most definitely be a blessing. And I feel like we're just going to go out there and just have a blast, you know, um, have tremendous re respect for him, anything can happen. So we're just going to go in there with that mentality and just play our butts off and just have a blast. All right, what do you remember from just the environment two years ago, the walking down the field with 80,000, they're running down the hill, all the stuff that goes into a game in Death Valley? Uh, it's just so amazing, man. Um, 
usually you only see it on TV and you never could picture yourself in the moments, but just being over there and just watching it for the first time, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm back at home watching it like, whoa, this is so cool. It, it's most definitely a great experience, man, and I'm just so happy and blessed just to go back over there and be able to play on the field again. All right, take me into the actual game here because watching Clemson play, their defense is uh, noticeable. That D-line is full of stars, and they're shutting people down. What's the biggest thing you notice on tape about this Clemson D that you guys got to go against? Uh, their discipline. You know, they play physical. They're – they're consistent with everything that they do. They have great technique. So I feel like um, that most definitely played a role into, you know, the wins that they got this season. So, you know, their sound and everything that they do. Um, the corners are really good. It's just like that. That's a com that, that's a consistent team, you know, and I have the upright most respect for them. So, you know, we're just going to go out there and compete and just do what we have to do, you know, and just have a blast out there.